What if the most feared tank on Earth suddenly became quieter, faster, and nearly impossible to detect? What if the next Abrams didn't just crush enemy armor, but outthought it? Well, that future isn't decades away. It's being built right now, and the U.S. Army plans to put this hybrid beast on the battlefield sooner than anyone expected. Tanks aren't supposed to be efficient. They're not designed for saving fuel. They're built to survive the worst combat environments on the planet, charging through mud, rubble, and fire while carrying some of the deadliest weapons ever engineered. But something unprecedented is happening. The Army's next-generation M1E3 Abrams tank is embracing hybrid electric power, a concept that until recently felt more at home in civilian cars than on a 70-ton armored war machine. Yet, here we are. The Abrams, already an icon of American firepower, is evolving into something leaner, stealthier, and smarter. General Dynamics, the same defense giant responsible for some of the most advanced nuclear submarines in the United States Navy, is pushing this transformation forward with surprising speed. The company wants a working prototype ready by the end of 2026. And this is the wild part. It expects soldiers to get hands-on experience almost immediately afterward. That means we could see hybrid Abrams tanks dominating the battlefield in four to five years, maximum. Let that sink in. A tank that can move quieter, run farther, and burn less fuel while maintaining its brutal combat punch is no longer a concept. It's nearly reality. Danny Deep, executive vice president for global operations at General Dynamics, recently spoke about the rapid pace of development. Instead of the typical decade-long slog of military procurement, this is a sprint. Deep explains that giving soldiers physical access to the prototype early accelerates everything. They can identify flaws, strengths, and necessary tweaks before mass production begins. And once those notes hit the engineers, the final version starts moving into the field two or three years later, not ten. This mindset reflects something bigger happening inside the U.S. military. Speed isn't just an operational tactic anymore, it's a design philosophy. Battlefield dominance increasingly depends not just on armor thickness or firepower, but on how fast new capabilities can be deployed, integrated, and evolved. Now, let's talk about what actually makes this hybrid Abrams so different. First, despite the upgrade, the M1E3 retains its legendary identity, most notably the 120mm smoothbore cannon that has defined American tank supremacy for decades. That gun isn't going anywhere, but everything around it is changing. The traditional gas turbine engine, powerful, loud, fuel-hungry, is being challenged by a hybrid powertrain. And while the Army hasn't revealed exactly what type of high-density batteries or electronics will run this system, the intent is clear. Reduce logistical strain and boost stealth. A quieter tank doesn't sound like a big deal until you consider this. Modern warfare is dominated by sensors, thermal signatures, acoustic detection, electromagnetic emissions, everything leaves a trail. If the Abrams can creep into range before the enemy knows it's there, that's a game changer. Then there's mobility. Hybrid systems offer instant torque, better acceleration, and longer operational endurance. Imagine a 60-plus ton tank maneuvering like something half its wheat. That's not science fiction. That's the direction the M1E3 is headed. The other major push is modularity. General Dynamics isn't reinventing the wheel. It's borrowing from existing commercial technologies, diesel caterpillar components, proven industrial systems, digital engineering frameworks. Instead of creating parts from scratch, the Army can adopt what is already built, tested, and reliable. It's a smart move. It cuts costs, shrinks development timelines, and allows upgrades to roll out fast. Think of the future Abrams as a modular platform rather than a static vehicle. Components can be swapped out like Lego bricks, new processors, sensors, armor packages, propulsion units, scaled and modernized without tearing apart the entire chassis. This is how the U.S. military stays ahead 
by refusing to get stuck in legacy systems. The redesign didn't come out of nowhere. Former Army Chief of Staff General James McConville made it clear the battlefield of the future demands solutions that are faster, more connected, and more lethal. He emphasized the importance of speed, range, and convergence, the ability to identify targets and eliminate them instantaneously. That's where a hybrid Abrams becomes more than a tank. It becomes a digital hunter. A quieter diesel drivetrain allows better sensor usage, reduced thermal footprint, and more precise coordination with drones, artillery, and networks targeting systems. You're looking at a vehicle that doesn't just drive into battle, it integrates into it. This all lines up with broader modernization efforts across U.S. forces. The Navy is pushing next-gen carriers, the Air Force is testing sixth-generation fighters, and now the Army is ensuring ground dominance doesn't fall behind the curve. The Abrams platform has already proven itself in multiple wars and continents, but warfare is changing. Drones, precision missiles, autonomous vehicles, and AI-enhanced targeting are reshaping the fight. A tank that burns fuel like a factory and roars like a jet engine simply can't hide or adapt in that environment anymore. Hybrid power isn't just an upgrade, it's survival. Now, will this hybrid Abrams become another unstoppable icon like its predecessors? That depends on how it performs once soldiers actually get their hands on it. Field testing will reveal if the batteries hold up, if the powertrain delivers, and whether the technological leap truly matches expectations. But here's the undeniable takeaway. This isn't a cosmetic update. It's a strategic shift. The U.S. Army is preparing for a world where armored warfare demands stealth, efficiency, digital integration, and relentless adaptability. The M1E3 Abrams may well be the first hybrid tank deployed at scale by a major military power. And if it works the way planners expect, future armored warfare won't sound like thunder anymore. It'll sound like silence. And that silence may be the loudest message America sends to its adversaries.